Hello to my Aries, Aries, let's go. Let's make sure we close out this cycle. We finish strong, Aries, let's get it. Let's see what's in your cards. This is a general reading. Take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, information is below. All right, Aries, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, Aries, let's go. Last quarter moon um, officially kicks off on May 1st, right? But we're in the last quarter moon phase, right? So whenever you watch this video, we'll be in the last quarter moon phase. We'll be watching it a couple of days before official date May 1st. But this is a bonus video. And so last quarter moon phase is time for introspection, looking at the rose colored glasses that were removed, you know, from your eyes and just, you know, like I said, and moving forward. So here we have the Knight of Pentacles, something having to do with um, possibly an earth sign, um, Aries. And I'm talking to you wherever Aries is in your birth chart, Capricorn, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, right? Something having to do with an earth sign, right? Um, here we have kicking off with Knight of Pentacles, right? And here we also have the um, Ace of Cups. Here we also have the... Uh, so we have the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. We also have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Cups, the Page of Swords, and also the Two of Swords, right? So kicking off with Knight Energy, you're already a hardworking person, right? And so part of your requirement and like who you... When we talk about Ace of Cups, because we got... We got um, some new love coming across your path, and I know a lot of people have been saying, oh, where is it? What is it? No, obviously, the person has to be a hardworking person, right? Definitely hardworking person, not somebody who is lazy, um, because you already know what that looks like, you know, dealing with energies that are, you know, that are lazy. So you have love coming into your life, new relationships, a new level of compassion, you know, also creativity and just kind of how you create and who you want to create with. So definitely they have to be a hardworking person. They have to make good use of their 24 hours in a day. This is not some space out somewhere, just kind of overthinking things. And, you know, this is where they're getting their rest They're doing they're, they're putting in the work. Right. So you're not looking for people's acceptance and approval anymore to see, you know, like, you know, you're not stepping down off of your throne about how you invest in yourself, right? Invest in your 24 hours in a day, every moment of your day. You're not um, looking for their acceptance and their approval, right? So source is saying to you, and again, I'm not talking to you just if your sun sign is Aries. I'm even talking to you if your Chiron is Aries. I have been seeing some people say that their Chiron is Aries, right? So, um, and on other Zodiac, I mean, all the, you know, uh, so you're looking at how are you in motivating yourselves as a fire sign? Fire um, connects us with inspiration, enthusiasm, energy, action, your goals, your mind, your ambitions, your dreams. Somebody says, you know what? If I dream it, I see it, I'm going after it, right? So I feel like somebody is going after wealth, but in a very healthy way. And that first means you got to sacrifice relationships with energies who will do anything for money. And I, when I say anything, y'all know what I'm talking about, anything for money, right? So Source is saying, um, here we even in, including compromising yours. So Source is saying to you, you got new love coming across your path. Don't get all, you know, like, oh, I, I got to be around people who are rich. How did how did they become rich? Are they going to help you lose everything, right? Because of what they're doing to become wealthy, right? So you're definitely, you know, learning how to kind of sort of narrow some things down, right? And so Source is saying, take the blindfolds off because whatever anxiety you may have had about, you know, being around certain energies and Source has been telling you, take those blindfolds off because even with blindfolds on, guess what? Your gifts are actually being increased. It's like a person who is spiritually sight impaired and all of a sudden you hear what people aren't saying. You know what I'm saying? Like you pay more, like let's say for instance, you're talking on the phone with a person you never met. Let's say y'all met online dating apps or something like that, right? You're really tuned into what they're saying online before you even meet them because, again, all they have to do is be within a, a certain auric layer off of your physical body. That phone is that portal for them to talk to you. So that's why some people, you know, I'm going to use the term fall in love with people before they even meet them uh, because of those phone conversations that you may have been having with the person or 
maybe they said something to you when you first met them. But source is saying to you, somebody is definitely learning that you're, you know, you being an assertive sign. You're ruled by a assertive planet Mars. Um, the planet of, um, like I said, inspiration and goals and action and all of that stuff. Some of you all had to learn the hard way in your family that, I mean, quite frankly, some people were jealous because of who you um, fell in love with or how you made your money or whatever the case may be. So somebody is definitely having a full circle moment here of just getting away from energies that could cause you to make money today and lose it tomorrow. You know, and sometimes that comes as a result of your head and heart being at war with certain situations. And you're like, man, I got to I got to take this back to basics. Cause I don't know how like, I mean, keep trying to tell people you are getting away from these karmic relationships. And this is the um, this is this cycle is doing it. Ro removing rose colored glasses from everybody's eyes. It's like, OK, how do I keep how do I keep dating the same type of energies? Like, how do I keep attracting the same types of energies in work and in love? Like, wh wh how is this happening? Right. Somebody had to take it all the way back to their family between the ages of zero and seven. Somebody had to get delivered from people's opinions of you between those ages. Who was the prettiest? Who was the most handsome? Who was the smartest? How this person made their money versus how that person made money. Somebody had to take it all the way back to basics. Something, all of this helped you develop your heart chakra. So maybe love coming into your life and, you know... And somebody didn't see something, have two situations in particular that you may have been looking for acceptance and approval from two types of situations could have caused some kind of heartbreak in somebody's life. But you got to take it all the way back down to the root, right? Yep. Two situations in particular, somebody was looking for, somebody worked super hard, you know, on yourself and all that extra work could have been put into, like I said, it could have been. You know, two kids, two of your kids. It could be both of your parents. It could be aunt and uncle. Somebody that you feel like you put a lot of effort and work into to try. You know, you worked extra hard, and so source is like, okay, it's go time now. You got new, um, new love, new compassion in your heart. You flushed all that other stuff out. You now protecting your emotions in your heart like never before. The blindfolds are off. The blindfolds are off. So, yeah, here's the judgment card. So this connects us to um, this connects us to Pluto. Pluto is about to go retrograde May second. Okay, just give me some heads up, right? But a lot of you all already know that because you already saw your six month prediction video. I've been talking about it. You know, Mercury is no longer retrograde. That's the communication messenger planet, knowledge learning planet. You know, and so right now, so Mercury. I mean, uh, Ju uh, Pluto, Pluto, which is the outermost planet, is about to go retrograde. Um, you're going to see, you're going to feel totally transformed, you know, like you took your, like you got your power back, you know, um, some energies were just obsessed, you know, they're obsessed with the energy of money, they're obsessed with money, like obsessed with it, right? And so source is helping you to learn how to take your fire back, like learn how to just take your power back. And, um, and then, like I said, here we have the, the queen of cups, usually people who, um, Usually people who don't have a healthy relationship with the energy of money, and we're talking about healthy relationship, they don't have really a healthy relationship with anything, right? They just don't, you know, like, um, so I definitely see you pouring into yourselves and, you know, pouring into yourselves more. Here we have the eight of cups here. You've moved on from a depth of disappointment. Like I said, and your wishes are actually being fulfilled. So congratulations, 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 congratulations. Here we also have to have four pentacles here. So you and your person are building a very rich legacy together. Like I said, somebody who has new love, new compassion in your life, you know, just kind of this new, like I said before, learning how to pour into yourselves, you know, and, and really protect your water, right? Everything don't need your emotions to it. Everything don't need your anger. Everything don't need your laughter. Everything don't need your tears. Some things just need to be, you know what? Okay. It is what it is. Let me just move on. And that's what I'm seeing you doing. So, um, for somebody, some earth energies, you know, like I said, you know, um, you know, just like I said, could have been you looking for their acceptance and their approval. And so here we have the six of cups. So like I said, you got some good news coming across your path. 
And sources say there's definitely a real temptation for you to vibrate low and feel like people got away with some stuff. They were a snake and all this other stuff. But sources say that's a waste of your energy because that situation will take, whatever the situations are, will take care of itself. And instead, um, I, I see you, vengeance is really sources, right? So you're really tapping into the living water, right? Um, and people will see that they weren't able to stop or block the wealth that was predestined in your life. There could be a Scorpio involved somewhere in the mix of some things. Um, and, um, yeah. So I, I definitely feel like, um, you have been judged in the, in the past and it felt like a scorpion sting. It almost felt like a, a trap or set up. Like I got to put on my blood, sweat, and tears. I got to sweat like a, a, a workhorse. I got to sweat a gallon of sweat an hour to make sure I'm proving to people that I'm a hardworking person and I'm a this and that and so on and so forth. And sources are saying, no, you don't. You don't have to prove to anybody anymore. You don't have to prove anything to anybody anymore. Just be your, your normal, high-vibrating, airy self. Here we have the Seven of Wands. Here we have the Sun card, the Lover's card, the Hierophant card. We have the Seven of Swords and the King of Cups. So now that you're at the peak of emotional intelligence, the King of Cups, and you're pouring into yourself and you, you know, helping other people to pour into themselves as well. Here we have the Seven of Wands. You're learning how to pray for people and meditate. Pray for yourself and also meditate on the things that you've been praying for and give source an opportunity to give you some answers back. But you were definitely dealing with some energies that are very stubborn, very bullheaded. You had to learn how to free yourselves from those energies and just kind of, like I said, for them, money is everything. And you had to go into a higher level of consciousness, you know, in your higher mind, your innate spiritual understanding of things, right? So um, some people are just structured that way. And it could have had, like I said, you could have gone into business with them or could have been in a romantic relationship, you know, with them. But like I said, new love is coming across somebody's path, right? Some people were just bullheaded. They end up burying themselves in manipulation and also... Um, they want you to continue watering their seeds when, you know, uh, watering their seeds and helping their business to grow and helping this to grow and help that to grow, whatever seeds they plan to get money by any means necessary. And so when, when they used you all up, toss you to the side, right? Breadcrumbs. So here we also have the sun card. Your light actually exposed people's darkness. And so it wasn't able to take away your joy, wasn't able to take your success away. Like I said, it couldn't stop or block your money. Here we also have the Seven of Swords here. And um, so Swords just wants somebody just, you know, your nightmare will be over very soon. Your nightmare will be over if, if it's not already, already over. Because if you prayed for it and Source gave you an Exodus strategy, you're already out of it. Don't go back. Continue, finish strong. You're on your throne of your emotions. So somebody has learned how to be in, you know, calmer waters, be in receiving mode of downloads, you know, prayer and meditation, not just prayer. And God, when is the answer coming? It's too many signs around us, right? Too many signs, colors, smells, dreams, downloads. That's why I talk about journaling so much. That's what I talk about journaling so much. But yeah, there were some energies that were definitely very, very stubborn. And um, like I said, by any means necessary. So more money is coming across your path. And again, I'm talking to you even if your Chiron is Aries. So adjust your crown. Dance around your home as if no one's watching. It's not something is not as deep as you think it is because again, like I said before, schedule a vacation. And the reason why it's not as deep as you think it is is because um, you were the one to initiate. Remember, to your to your advantage, you are a cardinal sign. Cardinal signs initiate the change of seasons. So you were the one that says you're initiating the change of seasons in your life. You're springing forward. You're not falling back into that same. I got to work like a workhorse that's sweating a gallon of water an hour to prove to people to accept you, right? To to approve of you and accept it. You're like, uh-uh. What? Uh-uh. If I'm going to put in all that work, then I need to see the return on my investment. Somebody's just having a healthier relationship with the energy of money. 
That's what I'm seeing for you all. Like it's and it's just coming to you. Creative ideas are just coming to you. Where there's some people, they're afraid to operate in their creativity. They they're afraid to be themselves. They're afraid to operating in their creativity. So that's why they gotta manipulate people when it comes to money. So you have the gift of precognition, that foreknowledge, and so somebody secretly has a crush on you. You're not interested in secret crushes. Your ego is not, you ain't like I said before, it's a secret. They can keep it a secret, right? They can keep it a secret. Whoever has a secret crush on you, they can keep it a secret. It could be somebody's ex for all you know. They sitting somewhere, you know, you know, peeking out their blinds, looking at you walking down the street or, you know, looking at what you're watching on social, what you're doing. If you're on social media, they looking at that. Every little thing that you do on social media, mm, they just post it. Oh, okay. All right. I like that. I like a secret crush on you. Then they, they just, uh, child. Mm, anyway. So here are your questions for the um, here are the questions to prepare you for this uh, for May first, right? So again, we're already in that phase, the last quarter moon phase. So this is a time for introspection and just you know finishing strong. First question is, what can you do to use your passion for serving on a large scale? The second question is, are you creating space for yourself to connect with your inner alchemist and innovator? The third question is, are you ready to think outside the box and delete old beliefs and rules to write your own? And then fourth is, is using technology. So the fourth question is, is, is using technology a drain or gain for you? So like I said, they're draining themselves by watching every little thing that you do and how you move and how you create and all of this other stuff. Um, and so you're not like them. You're not allowing, you know, social media to drain you. They put everything online trying to make everybody jealous of them and all this, whatever, who cares? And then last but not least is, are you ready to start a group in your community to initiate and create positive change on a local or global scale? And then what could the focus be? And that's what Source wants you to do is like, use your fire to your advantage. You inspire a lot of people, you know, Aries, you are, you're enthusiastic. You all have great energy. You're action oriented. You're goal oriented. You make sure your mind is clear by not contaminating yourself, by worrying about what they're doing and all of this other stuff. You're ambitious. You dream bigger. And so this where you, like I said, you hit your opportunity to dream bigger, right? So individuality, every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school. So you could definitely be dealing with earth energy, you know, like people who are just kind of you know, like they do things their way. And if for somebody, it could be a, a Taurus. Somebody could have Taurus in their birth chart. And I know some of you all could be on the cusp of Taurus, but it could be a Taurus involved. A Gemini can be involved. A Scorpio could be involved in some way, shape, form, or fashion. A Leo could be involved because Leo is ruled by the sun. It's a lot of energies that could be involved in your major arcana that you're deciding, hey, I need to get away from a uh, certain energy. So like I said, love is coming across in my path. Um, in ways that, you know, for you, you're going to have to decide, hey, you're working, you're, you've been working to be accepted and approved by energies. And like I said, if it's not beneficial for some people, then, you know, like I said, then they treated you like you were just disposable. So, you know, um, you know, trying to control your time slash money to some degree. Let's see what else we have. Let's see what else we have. Let's see what else we have here. You're just moving through a rite of passage. That's it. You're moving through a rite of passage. So if your Chiron is in Aries, and so you're you're healing that wounded part of yourself, and let's say you you healed that wounded part of yourself, right? Just that um, maybe you've come from some situations where maybe you were bullied, or you know, just very aggressive background, or whatever the case may be, or people who were quite aggressive with you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. You've learned how to use that fire to inspire and motivate yourself without those types of energies. Source is saying kudos and congratulations to you for that, for getting away from very bullying types of energies, you know, and um, people who feel like they need to be bullied, coerced, you know, uh, whatever, you know, into, into, you know, whatever. I don't know what they being bullied. But here we have, you learn how to save yourself, right? You learn how to save yourself so you don't have to lament over it. Again, your wish is being fulfilled, right? Your wishes are being fulfilled in both your personal and your professional life. And so um, 
continue being, you know, blessed. Like I said, the sun card came out again. Like your, um, when we talk about the sun, like I said, your joy and your success has actually increased because you learn how to move on from looking for being accepted and approved by the lover's card, some kind of partnership and business and love is coming across your path. And this is just reiterating it, right? Just reiterating. For those of you all who are already in a twin flame situation, right? Um, like I said, this could mean uh, two partnerships coming, you know, in business, right? That's going to make you happier. So, um, or whatever your situation is. But some energies are going through a tower moment because, you know, your tower moment, this is your card, um, is Mars, right? Is because you... Your tower moment is like, you know, you you made the you had the courage to take action to stay in your purpose. Even though you were being harshly judged, and no matter how hard you were working to, you know, be accepted and being, you know, whoever's can whoever the two energies are, they actually are two types of energies. Um, if they are in your family or was a part of your family, let's say um um Let's say you were married to or like a, some kind of business or and or in love. Let's say the business, you were in business with them. It can even be a family member you were in business with or somebody that you, it was some kind of erotic love situation or whatever the case may be that you thought was a twin. Like I said, karmic relationships are being broken. Rose colored glasses are off your face now. So it is what it is. I feel like somebody has, um, since I'm looking at the sun here, you were dealing with somebody's son. And, and you may have had, you may have a son yourself, you know, whether you're in a same sex or opposite sex relationship that the rose colored glasses had to be removed for somebody. You said, you know what, that person is just like so-and-so and I need to move on from that. I, I need to move on from that. Right. So yeah, be grateful when, um, you know, you can move on from some situations and start pouring back into yourself. You know, start pouring back. That's why I talk about like people inherit generational blessings, but um, people also inherit generational burdens as well, right? And so for you, the scales may not have fallen from your eyes until you were in a situation where you're like, wow, this thing is strong. Like these, that, that, that mindset is strong. Like, you know, wow, okay, now I'm awakened to some things. So. Let's pull a number and let's close it out. Let's pull a number and let's close it out. Yeah. 44, I am supported. So your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination. And even greater uh, success will come in the future. And here's the crazy thing about this. Because somebody's dealing with somebody's son and it could be your son as well, right? If you have a son. So that's just another scenario throughout all of this. Because we're talking about the spirit of all of this, right? Um, and like I said, whether it was a same sex relationship or opposite sex relationship, source is saying to you, you're coming to the realization that a lot of people judged you as if you were the problem, Aries, if it was somebody's son you were dealing with and, um, and, and it was your son, people may have judged you. Let's say you were the other parent, right? Maybe you're the woman or the other man, you know, somebody may have judged you like, oh, that's how, you know, they weren't nurtured enough. They weren't this and that and so on and so forth. Now somebody's starting to understand how things are being, you know, how things come through that umbilical cord from both sides of the family, right? You sometimes you over nurture a situation like till it becomes a codependency because you can see what somebody's son couldn't see. Right. So again, that's just one scenario. So I know I'm talking to, I'm talking to men and women, right? So I'm talking to whether, however you identify is whatever type of relationship you're in. So again, take only what resonates with you. Right. So, um, but yeah, so, um, I definitely feel like in, in one scenario, somebody has inherited the burden of, um, you know, the burden of just kind of sort of unhealthy sacral chakra. Somebody's sacral chakra is out of alignment. I'm not talking about yours. It's somebody else's sacral chakra is out of alignment. But affirmations for integrity. I choose my words wisely. My words are creating my reality. My speech matches my actions. I keep promises to myself. I am consistent. I am punctual. I accept the moment. I resonate with the highest truth. That is what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Hopefully, um... Hopefully those questions have been helpful, you know, for you. All right. Bye.